We're here today in Merritt Island where we are doing smoke testing to look for deficiencies in the sewer and lateral line. So the county's involvement is we're contracting USSI to perform the smoke testing on our behalf and also on the behalf of Natural Resources Department. They're the funders through the SORL program. This is an um, interdepartmental project. The Natural Resources and Saving Union River Lagoon program is coming in to help the property owners uh, address their side of the problem. So smoke testing is one process that we can do to find defects where they pump a non-toxic smoke down into the pipelines and it will come out of the ground or broken pipes, missing uh, clean out caps, any areas where there might be a defect. So the smoke is produced by using, it's essentially a uh, lawnmower with an inverted propeller and what we do is we use a, a safe vegetable oil. We heat that up on, a, on the carburetor and what it does is that fan then pushes that vegetable oil into the system. It goes about 1,200 feet in either direction, but what that does is that every house is plumbed into the sewer system, so as that smoke is pushing through the system, it's supposed to come out of the vents on a house, that means your house is properly plumbed. Where smoke comes out of the ground as a clean out or a manhole lid and cover or a service line, our crew will use our software, they take a GPS of it, they take an image of it, they use temporary spray paint to document it, so the intent is to do a full defect report and that data is then provided to the utility with Brevard County to process and determine what to do with it after that. Uh, what we want to do is we want to reduce the amount of storm water that's running off from rain into these openings and then also there's groundwater beneath the grass and the pipes are oftentimes submerged in that believe it or not and so if there's cracks or openings in the pipe and you have water entering the pipe the pipe's not under pressure so the water's going to go into the pipe and that's going to be moved along to the pump stations. What does that mean for the utility? We're treating groundwater or we're treating rainwater and that's unnecessary really for us. And when we have heavy rain events such as Hurricane Irma, that water can overwhelm the system and lead to sewer overflows. We're trying to prevent sewer overflows because that is another source of nutrients into the lagoon. The smoke testing projects are funded with the Saver Indian River Lagoon half cent sales tax and we also use that funding to leverage state grants to help expand the program and cover more area and also to help us provide financial assistance to homeowners. So we also have other grant programs for homeowners to do things like upgrading a septic system or for homeowners that are already along an existing sewer line we have a quick connect grant to help alleviate those costs as well. If a property owner needs assistance, they can contact us at irlproject at brevardfl.gov. All homeowners in the county can get involved with restoring the Indian River Lagoon by visiting lagoonloyal.com. On that site, they're gonna find simple tips that they can do around their own home to reduce their nutrient pollution footprint.